morning and welcome to KEA News. I'm Elizabeth Betson. And I'm Erica Marks. Today we are talking about the importance of recycling. Casey Jansen, CEO of Mean Green Industries, is with our Kinsey Swafford to tell us all about it. Kinsey? Thanks, Erica. I'm here with Casey Jansen talking about the best possible use of discarded materials. Casey, how does recycling save energy and benefit the nation as a whole? Well, when we get cans, it takes 95% less energy to produce aluminum. It also takes 75% less energy to produce steel from scrap. And then the most important part to me is that it takes 70% less energy to make paper from recycled materials rather than trees. So every little bit counts. What are the steps you have to take for recycling? Um, the discard materials are collected and sorted and taken to a facility where they are cleaned and the materials materials are used to manufacture new products which are then sold at every ordinary stores. Thanks for joining us today. Back to you guys. In other news, some companies are trying to change the materials they supply to be more environmentally friendly, such as plastic. Austin Dugan, founder of Plastlinks Industries, is sitting with our Kenzie Swafford to tell us all about it. Kenzie? Thanks, Elizabeth. Austin, why don't you tell us a little bit about your company? Well, plastic is a non-recyclable material. It was my goal to make it as environmental friendly as possible. Have you made any progress so far? We have a new kind of plastic called photodegradable. When it sits in the sun or water for long periods of time, it will break down into pieces. Another kind is termed biodegradable by manufacturers. This type is blended with cornstarch and chemical bonding agent to regular plastic. How is the plastic not considered biodegradable? The plastic is reduced into smaller pieces. It reduces the harm caused by plastic litter, but neither type does much to reduce the amount of waste. Thanks so much for being here. Back to you. Thanks, Kenzie. Thanks for joining us. See you next time on KEA News.